Positively San Diego with Virginia Cha. If a beloved pet has ever run away or disappeared, then you know the feeling of panic and heartbreak. For one local dog owner, that feeling went on for months. But I found out from this dog dad in the North County that during the saga to find his dog, a positively San Diego twist led to double the happy ending. And this is the most spoiled dog you will ever see. Spoiled, but now safe. Dolly's human dad, Al Breland, says it all started last October, on a day when he and his wife, Nancy, had to leave the house. Dolly wanted to come along, but we couldn't take her. Uh, so we got in the car and drove down. Uh, she managed to squeeze out from under uh, the fence gate. Instead of Dolly, distress awaited Al when he got home. But soon after, he got a call from a woman who had tracked Al down through Dolly's chip. Dolly was at the woman's home a few miles away. But then when we got over there, the lady said Dolly had run out into the yard and then run away. We put up posters all over the area, searched for days. Resources, including JL Animal Rescue in Rancho Santa Fe, and the website Paw Boost helped get the word out with missing posters. A few weeks later came what seemed like another lead. One of our friends had told us there was a dog uh, running around the Carmel Valley Rec Center that looked like Dolly. But it wasn't Dolly. It was an energetic puppy with no chip and no tags that Al and Nancy ended up adopting and naming Pumpkin. After that, months passed with no new leads on Dolly. At any point, did you feel like giving up? Oh, oh, definitely. But then, in January, Al says a woman in North Park called. When they called us and said there was a dog that we think is Dolly, we didn't know for sure it was Dolly. But to his relief, it was. How do you deal with Dolly now that you know she's an escape artist? We've put up a board to try and close the area under the fence gate. And Dolly is now wearing this smart tag that tells Al through an app on his phone where she is. What makes Dolly so special to you? Oh, I don't know. Uh, she's my heart. And has been for almost seven years. Al, who's a retired neurologist and a veteran, says he's so happy to have his heart back. She imparts a sense of calmness. Uh, it's very, very hard to get upset or be upset when there's a dog licking your face. And can you see the joy now doubled? It's not clear how Dolly went from the Carmel Valley area to North Park. The person who returned Dolly didn't return calls. Al says despite some controversy about offering rewards, he gave one. He says what's important to him is that Dolly is back. We would love to hear your Positively San Diego stories as well. You can share them with us. Just send an email to that address, tips at 10news.com.